out here. Today I'm gonna talk about how to deal with frustration. Because I know a lot of beings out there, myself included, are feeling a lot of frustration right now with what's happening in the world, generally speaking. And this is a karmic residue that we're all going through right now. We're all releasing. We're all transmuting now. In order to be able to f move more fully into the I Am Presence, I know it's important that we all see this pattern within ourselves of how we're trying so hard to change the external world And this means that there's a part of us, again, myself included, okay, that is still functioning from the Maya, that doesn't understand yet how the change, how the evolution happens. And I want to reiterate for myself so that I can better be able to help myself to release the frustration so that I can help others around me because if we're feeling frustrated, if we're feeling angry, we can't help anyone. First, we have to learn how to create that space within, how to come back into our center, how to ground that frustration, release it, know that it's not who we are. Accept that there are things we don't have control over, the actions, the thoughts, the choices of others, others we may love, that we may be trying to help at this point because of what we may be believing, what may be working for us. So let's remind ourselves now that the way we can help others, the way we can remove the frustration of others, remove even the corruption of others, remove the corruption in the systems themselves that we're trying so hard in vain to fight because we don't understand how the change occurs is to first remove that frustration within ourselves remove the corruption within ourself 
first so that we can, can be coming from that clear space of knowing, coming from that heart space, the I am presence, the Christ consciousness, the Krishna consciousness, the Buddha consciousness, whatever you want to call this space within. the heart. Otherwise, if we get lost blaming others, even the ones we love the most, for the frustration that we're feeling, for our own inability to communicate clearly, to transmit what we know through the language, then we're falling into the same traps and allowing for the unconscious karmic residues that are still being held in the electromagnetic field. Created by the heart. Created by you. To control us. To control our thoughts. To control our words. To control our actions and how we're feeling ultimately. Feeding our own energy into that frustration. So, so I'll take a breath into the heart space. tendency is to blame this frustration on others, especially the ones that we're closest to, the ones we're attached to, the ones we, we are attached to. Yeah. The ones we feel the most for, the ones we feel most affected by. When we realize that this frustration is being created by ourselves and is a part of our own self-generated experience. This is a lesson we have to do within ourselves. Then, that awareness of where this feeling is coming from and how it's being generated allows for us to dispel this illusion of blame that is creating the fighting, creating the war. This allows for us to find the peace within the heart space that we are coming from. And when we come from this space, we can help others, not necessarily through the language, but through our presence itself, through the entrainment process of being.
empathically resonating with those you love. I hope this helps you. Feels to me to be relevant at this time when this karmic pattern is becoming empowered within to such an extent in many, in so many beings, that we're even seeing the consequences externally. I love you. Namaste.